In this presentation, we will understand what is implicit type conversion in details. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The topics of this presentation are implicit type conversion and then the homework problem. So, after understanding implicit type conversion in details, we will see the homework problem of this presentation. Now, let's see what is implicit type conversion. Implicit type conversion refers to the ability of Python to convert an object from one data type to another without any intervention from the programmer. So, implicit type conversion is all about the ability of Python itself to convert an object from one data type to another. And this all happens without any intervention from the programmer. So, programmer will not be involved in the conversion process. The conversion happens automatically. Now, why this happens in the first place itself? There might be some reason of conversion. We will see with the help of an example also that why the conversion happens in the first place. But for now, let's take this point that Python converts an object from one data type to another when the need persists. There is one rule of conversion that Python always follows. This rule of conversion states that lower data type is converted to the higher data type. It is always the case that Python converts an object of lower data type to the higher data type object. So, this is the rule which Python follows implicitly. Now, let's understand how implicit type conversion works and what do we mean by this and in which scenarios implicit type conversion happens. Let's open our command prompt and let's type this command 5 plus 10.98. We want to add these two values. This value 10.98 is a floating point value while this value is an integer value. These two values cannot be added like this. First, we need to make these two values of the same type. Either we should make this a floating point value or we should make this an integer value. These are the only two choices. Now, what happens when we hit enter? If we hit enter, we will get 15.98 as a result. Now, why is that the case? Python has implicitly converted the type of this value to floating point. This is called implicit type conversion. Implicit type conversion refers to the ability of Python to convert an object from one data type to another and that too without any intervention from the programmer. Here, programmer has not explicitly stated that we need to convert this value to a floating point value. But Python has performed implicit type conversion because the addition of these two values is illegal. Implicitly, Python has to convert one of these types to another type. Here, this value will be converted to a floating point value because float data type is a higher data type if we compare it to the integer data type, which is a lower data type. Python always follows this rule of conversion, which is lower data type is converted to the higher data type. As the lower data type is integer, Python will convert integer to floating point, not floating point to integer. This is the reason why Python converts 5 to 5.0 implicitly and then the addition will happen. And this is the reason why we are getting 15.98 here. Because 5.0 plus 10.98 is equal to 15.98. I hope this idea of implicit type conversion is clear to you. Now, let's see what happens if Python chooses a different rule of conversion. A hypothetical rule of conversion. Where the higher data type is converted to the lower data type. So, let's take this hypothetical rule of conversion and let us assume that Python follows this rule of conversion to convert an object of one data type to another. This time the rule is that the higher data type is converted to the lower data type. 
we know that this is hypothetical rule. This is not exactly how Python works. Python always converts lower data type to higher data type, not higher data type to lower data type. If this rule is implicitly followed by Python, then Python will convert floating point value to integer value if the addition needs to be performed between integer and floating point value. Now let's see exactly what happens when this type of rule is followed. We again need to open our command prompt and we again need to type this command 5 plus 10.98. As this rule is hypothetical, if we run this command, we will get 15.98 only. But let us assume this, that the hypothetical rule of conversion that is higher data type is converted to the lower data type is followed by Python. In this case, we will get 15 as a result, not 15.98. Although please note that if you write this command on your command prompt, you will get 15.98 only because Python always follows the same rule of conversion which we have seen before. This is hypothetical rule of conversion and just for the sake of learning, I am showing here the value 15, not 15.98. This is what happens if Python follows this rule of conversion. If Python converts higher data type to lower data type, we will get this value only. Because this value which is a floating point value will be converted to integer which is 10. Therefore, we will get 15 as a result. But as you might have guessed it already, Python never does this because if Python follows this rule of conversion, then we will lose precision. If floating point value will be converted to integer, then we will lose this 0.98 from 10.98. So Python never follows this rule of conversion. This is what we need to remember. Now let's move to the next point. Note that dividing two integers always results in a floating point value. So let's say that we want to divide two integers. The result will always be a floating point value because this is the nature of division. No matter what the operands are, division always results a floating point value. We should remember this also that the type of resultant not only depends upon the higher data type, but it also depends upon the operator. We have seen that the resultant depends upon the higher data type. Like what we have seen in the previous example, if we add 5 and 10.98, we will get 15.98, which is a floating point value. So, the result was depending upon the higher data type. But what happens if the two types are same? We need to remember this, that the type not only depends upon the value of the higher data type, but it also depends upon the operator. This is what I have written. The type of resultant depends upon the operator and the value with higher data type. I hope this point is clear. If it is not, let's understand this with the help of an example. Let's open our command prompt and let's type 10 divided by 5. These two are integer values and in between these two values, we have this division operator. If we hit enter, we will get 2.0 as a result, not 2. Because division by its very nature always results in a floating point value. So here the result is not depending upon the higher data type. There is nothing like a higher data type in this case. These two types are same. Result is depending upon the operator, that is division. It can be observed that this is a normal division, not a floor division. If it would be a floor division, we will get an integer value. Now, as we have understood this concept, let's move on to the next point. In C programming language, it is possible that the value of higher data type can be converted to lower data type. Although we know that in Python, implicit conversion of higher to lower data type is not possible. If we run the following code in our favorite ID, then we will not get any error. This code will run without any problem. This code is written in C programming language. 
Here we have this main function and within this main function we have this variable x of type integer. And here we are assigning 98.5 to x. It seems like this will generate an error. No. In C programming language, it is possible that the value of higher data type can be converted to lower data type. Here, we have a floating point value and we are trying to store this floating point value inside an integer variable. Implicitly, C will convert this type to integer in order to store it inside variable x because C has no choice. The type of this variable is integer. Hence, it needs to convert this value to integer value which means 98. So, 98 will get stored inside variable x. Although we have lost the precision, but this is the responsibility of the programmer, not the responsibility of the programming language. Here, 98.5 will be converted to 98 because C has no choice in this case. The value needs to be stored inside variable x of type integer. But this is not the case in Python. In Python, we do not explicitly specify the type, hence there is no such problem. Implicit conversion of higher to lower data type is not possible in Python. Although there are methods which allows us to convert higher to lower data type, but implicitly Python never does this. Python always avoids this kind of conversion. As we have seen this already, this may lose precision. I hope the concept of implicit type conversion is completely clear. This means we are done with this topic. Now let's see the homework problem of this presentation. Determine the output of the following lines of code. Your job is to determine the output of these lines of code and make sure to post your answers in the comment section so as we can see that as well. So we are done with implicit type conversion. And we have seen the homework problem of this presentation as well. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.